We begin tonight with continuing coverage of the case of Gabby Petito and her fiance Brian Laundry. The autopsy results are in for the human remains found Sunday inside the Bridger Teton National Forest. The Teton County, Wyoming coroner confirming the remains are of Gabby, saying her death was homicide, but exactly how she died is still being investigated. This is video of the makeshift cross that has been set up near the area Gabby was found. Well, ABC's Morgan Norwood has more on how these new developments come as law enforcement renews its search for Brian Laundry at a Florida nature preserve. The FBI executing a court authorized search warrant at Laundry's parents home in North Point, removing possible evidence and towing his Ford Mustang from the driveway. Laundry's parents told police last Friday they hadn't seen their son for three days, saying he drove that Mustang to a nearby nature reserve and never returned. Questions now about why authorities didn't question Laundry before he disappeared. The authorities wanting to be careful not to be seen as only looking at one person when there's a trial later. Search warrant, you have to have evidence of probable cause of a crime at the place you want to go search. Laundry had been on a cross country road trip with Gabby, returning home without her on September 1st, but she wasn't reported missing for another 10 days. As police searched for laundry, a newly released 911 call painting a different picture of an altercation between the couple on August the 12th. Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hop in the car, and they drove off. Despite that witness's claims, Petito seen here on police body camera footage telling officers she was the aggressor. What was it you were attempting to accomplish? I was trying to get him to stop telling me to hunt him. In the police report, responding officers saying that incident seemed to be less of a domestic dispute and more of a mental slash emotional health break. The officer separating the couple for the night. And the FBI is still asking the public for help in this investigation, saying no detail is too small. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. Well, this afternoon, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis also got involved in the search for Brian Laundry, sending out a tweet saying he has directed all state agencies under his purview to assist in the search, saying, quote, we need justice for Gabby Petito.